for the arrival honors. Our owner, we will now inspect the troops. Please be seated. A director, staff, and the Honor Guard yes, Commander, Police Chief Superintendent Benjamin Lusad of the Directorate for Intelligence. Makidik sa pahayag, pinapaabot ng ating panauhing pandangal. The Chief, Philippine National Police, Police Director General, Ricardo Marquez, ang kanyang taus-pusong pasasalamat sa parangal na ginawat natin sa kanya sa hapon na ito. Check, check. How's that? Ang hol! Ta! Ah, pinuro ko kay kamay. Na!
Ah, pinuro, buwa kamay. Ah. Ba Pangulo, handa na po ang tanod pandangal upang libutin. Our honorary will now inspect the troops. Please be seated. He is being accompanied by Police Host, Police Director General Ricardo Marquez, Chief Philippine National Police, and the Honor Guard Commander, Police Chief Superintendent Alfred Corpus, Director of Police Security Protection Group. Tubing the line is a long time and tradition in the Philippine National Police, which gives Tanghal Ta! Mga pinuro, buhay kamay Ta! Mga pinuro, baba kamay Ta! Ibaba! Ala penuh, tapos tu po ang parangan. Okey nih, sa pahayang. Inaabot ng ating panauhing pandangal, His Excellency, Simeon S. Aquino III. As you were, Binigno S. Aquino III, Pangulo ng Republika ng Pilipinas, ang kanyang taos pusong pasasalamat sa parangal na ginawad natin sa kanya sa hapong ito. Ladies and gentlemen, the rival honors have been completed. pambansang awit ng Republika ng Pilipinas. Tanga! Almighty God, you are the source of all our achievements as law enforcers and public servants. We praise and thank you for gathering us here in this testimonial ceremony as we salute 
the outstanding achievements and memorable career of our beloved Chief PNP, Police Director General Ricardo Cornejo Marquez. Bless him and shower on him with graces as he returns to civilian life with the love and support of his family, friends, and loved ones. Bye bye. Our honorary will now troop the line. You know, and then po ang mga hanay ng talupad upang libutin. Please be. Is Director General Ricardo Marquez, Chief Philippine National Police, is being accompanied by our police host, Police Deputy Director General Francisco Uyami Jr., the Chief of Directorial Staff and the Troop Commander, Police Director Jonathan Ferdinand Miano, the Director for Operations. Our honoree traces his roots in Maragondon, Cavite. is a graduate of PMA Sandigan Class 82. As the 18th Chief of the Philippine National Police, he has laid out a practical and doable programs in his seven-point agenda, crime prevention, law enforcement, counterinsurgency, and anti-terrorism, public safety, security, organizational development, PMP Patrol Plan 2030, and one good deed every day to ensure the peace and order in the country. In his call for a Back to Basics program, Police Director General Marquez institutionalized the patrolling as the backbone of policing wherein the Patrolia ng Pamayanan campaign developed an increased police presence in the community. During his term, the Oplan Lambat Sibat was no. materialized which intensified the police anti-criminality campaign using the whole government approach. 38 years in the Philippine National Police with the highest sense of professionalism, excellence, and discipline to public office, his dedication to public service is embodied through his accomplishment all throughout his career. He will also receive a replica of the ATM and checks for lump sum and commutation of accrued leave and retired officer's ID. He will also symbol of authority of a commander. To read the citation, may request Police Director Dominador Aquino Jr., the Director for Personnel and Records Management. Be it known to all men by this presence that I, Benigno S. Aquino III, President of the Philippines, by virtue of the powers vested in me by law, for his actions and accomplishments as Chief of the Philippine National Police from July 16, 2015, to June 30, 2016, that have exemplified strong leadership and effective management for providing strategic direction and meticulous supervision of all police operations as the Vice Chair of the National Committee of the National Task Force Secure and Fair Elections 2016, which significantly contributed to the success of the May 9, 2016 national election considered one of the most peaceful and orderly political exercises in Philippine history. For his meticulous planning and efficient implementation 
of General Security Measures as Commander of the National Joint Task Force for the Asia-Pacific Economic Cooperation Summit, which was hosted with success in 2015 for the efficient implementation of public safety operations during the conduct of the State of the Nation Address held in July 2015 for supervising the implementation of police and security operations during the state visit and apostolic journey to the Republic of the Philippines of His Holiness Pope Francis last January 15 to 19, 2015 for providing strategic guidance in the continuous successful implementation of the crime prevention and crime fighting operations that make up Oplan Lambat Sibat, which resulted in a 48% decrease in crimes. For his institutionalization of the Patrolya ng Pamayanan, an initiative that has made patrolling the backbone of policing and the established norm of a stable and reliable police presence in the streets. For the implementation of intensified nationwide anti-illegal drug operations, which resulted in the arrest of 40,843 persons involved in, in illegal drugs and the confiscation of 3,715,074,596 3, worth of illegal narcotics. And for his selfless dedication and commitment to the police service, his high degree of professionalism and loyalty to the flag, and his stature as a shining example of a true officer and gentleman, we earned him honor and distinction, not only for himself, but for the entire Philippine National Police, have caused to be inscribed in the roster of the Philippine Legion of Honor, the name of Ricardo C. Marquez, Director General, Philippine National Police, with the rank of Commander, Commandante, down in the city of Manila this 28th day of June in the year of our Lord, 2016. A big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, to our honorary Police Director General Ricardo Marquez. Troop Commander, please give uh, Tika Spanga. His Excellency Benignes Aquino III, the President of the Republic of the Philippines, the Honorable Melsenen Sarmiento, the Secretary of the Interior and Local Government, Under Secretary Edwin Enrile, the ILG, USEC for Operations, the Under Secretary for uh, National Defense for Operations, Yusek Boying Ikarma. The, uh, the Chief of the Directoral Staff of the Philippine National Police, the officer in charge of uh, the Deputy Chief for Administration and Operations, Police Deputy Director General Franco Yami Jr., My colleague at the National Police Commission, Vice Chair uh, Roger Sarau, uh, and the other commissioners present. The heads of the various national agencies present. The APEC family, led by Yusek Boying Ikarma. The members of the uh, National Advisory Group, 
for Police Transformation and Development, PGS Patrol Plan 2030. Members of the directorial staff, the Philippine National Police, regional directors, and commanders of national support units. Major General Rolando Picard, the Deputy Chief of Staff. Representing the Chief of Staff, the Armed Forces of the Philippines. Rear Admiral uh, William Mela, the Commandant of the Philippine Coast Guard. The foreign dignitaries and foreign counterparts present, our special guest, Mrs. Maria Elena Aquino Cruz, ma'am. The Honorable uh, Paul Batawil. A member of our Council of Elders, Police Deputy Director General Rex Piad. The members of PMA Sandigan class of 1982 and their lovely ladies. Members of the Diplomatic Corps. Other special guests. My one and only wife. My three lovely children. My uh, brand new son-in-law, Attorney Arthur Dixon. Our brothers and sisters, the other woman in my life, Inang Pransing. Other special guests, men and women of the Philippine National Police, our friends from the media. Ladies and gentlemen, magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. On July 16 last year, I stood before you. To, access, to accept the greatest honor and the biggest challenge of my career, that is to lead the Philippine National Police. I remember saying then that becoming the chief of the PNP, just like becoming the president of this country, was a matter of destiny. For what else could it be? I was the son of a poor farmer from the small town of Maragondon in Cavite, a product of our public school system, a virtual unknown, whose only credentials were an honorable track record and a good heart for genuine public service. Majority of my predecessors had close personal ties with the presidents who chose them. I didn't have that privilege. Before my appointment, the president didn't know me personally. Some people in my situation would have considered this as a serious disadvantage. On the contrary, I saw it as a blessing, a source of inspiration and motivation. My relationship with the president would be a classic tabula rasa, a blank slate upon which both of us could write many good things. Mr. President, I am grateful that you gave me the opportunity to head the Philippine National Police. I treasured your trust and confidence in me as a precious gift. In the past 11 months and two weeks, I opened that gift every morning with one wish, that under my leadership, the PNP would exceed your expectations. Ngunit hindi po naging madaling pamunuhan ang ating kapulisan sa gitna ng pagdadalamhati at agam-agam. We had just lost so many valiant young officers in Mamasapano. We were embroiled in yet another crisis of confidence. Sa ganong pagkakataon, mahalaga pong muling pukawin ang pag-asa at padanalig ng Puso ng bawat isa. Araw-araw, ipinadama ko sa ating hanay na kaya nating tuparin ang ating sinumpaang tungkuling paglingkuran at pangalagaan ng kaligtasan ng sambayan ng Pilipino. Araw-araw, pinaalala ko sa ating kapulisan na kaya nating ibalik ang tiwala ng taong bayan basat muli tayong magtiwala sa ating mga sarili at magkaisa sa ating adhikain. Beyond the statistics that this tour of duty report contains, Mr. President, lies the story of more than 170,000 men and women of the Philippine National Police who heeded my call. It chronicles our journey as a family, a journey that showcased our will to overcome obstacles, 
our dedication to duty despite the odds, our travails and triumphs, our love of God, country, and people. Since I knew my time as chief was limited, I took every opportunity to visit our provincial offices and police stations in the farthest corners of our archipelago from Batanes to Tawi-Tawi. These trips allowed me to interact with our frontline police personnel, gain valuable insights in the realities on the ground, and take actions to address their problems and their needs. Masaya po ang ating mga tauhan sa tuwing ako ay darating at sinasamantala nila ang pagkakataong magpa-selfie at group picture kasama ko. Ang buong akala ko noong una, ito po ay dahil nagugwa po ang sila sa akin. Ang katotohanan po pala, mahigit ng dalawampung taon na hindi sila nakakita ng chief PNP in person. Ang ating mga pulisan sa Batane, sa Tawi-Tawi, sa Magindanao at iba pang lalawigan. Habang pinapakinggan ko ang kanilang mga accomplishment, ang kanilang mga kahilingan at hinaing, naramdaman ko ang kurot sa puso ng isang padre de familia. Nakaharap ang kanyang mga anak. Sa kabila ng kakulangan ng pondo at gamit, masigasig nilang silang nagpapatuloy ng kanilang gawain na umahanap ng paraan upang matugunan ang mga pangangailangan. Nagpapatrolya sa pamayanan, nakikipag-ugnayan sa komunidad, pinapatupad ang mga batas. Dinadakip ang mga kriminal, tumutulong sa mga lokal na pamahalaan, sumasaklolo sa mga nasalanta ng kalamidad, at lumalaban sa mga nagnanais na pabagsakin ang ating pamahalaan. Saludo po ako sa sipag at katapatang ipinamalas nila. So today, Mr. President, as I end my tour of duty as the 20th Chief of the Philippine National Police, permit me to briefly present to you what we have achieved during my term. I believe I have been able to deliver more than what I promised, simply because everyone kept the faith in me, from the highest officer in the headquarters to the last beat patroller in Basco or Simunul. We adopted B2B PNP, or Back to Basics Patrolya ng Pamayanan, as the backbone of policing, and made Oplan Lambat Sibat the fulcrum of our crime prevention and crime fighting operations. To support the personal requirements for patrolling and increased police presence, I directed all PROs to create and activate patrol operation sections in all units and city police offices nationwide. Beginning January 2016, we have downloaded more than 25,000 personnel with the rank of PO1 and police inspector from PROs and national headquarters. This means more than 25,000 personnel are on our streets waging war against crime. By October of last year, the Manual on Managing Police Operations, or commonly known as Lambat Sibat, was cascaded to all regions and provinces. And as of April 2016, Lambat Sibat was already launched in 10 other regions after it was successfully piloted in NCRPO, Regions 3 and Regions 4A. Lambat Sibat crime, Lambat's crime fighting strategy focuses on mobile and mobile and beat patrols, Oplan Bakal, Oplan Sita for loose firearms, and serving of warrants. Sibat's intelligence-driven police operations and dedicated tracker teams aim to arrest identified most wanted persons, repeat offenders, and members of organized criminal groups. Mr. President, I am pleased to report that as a result of, of this intervention in Metro Manila, Crime against property such as robbery theft, car napping, and motor napping went down by an impressive 81% from a weekly average of 1,012 in June of, in June of 2014 to just around 200 in recent weeks. The weekly averages of crime against persons also decreased significantly for the same period. Homicide declined from 13 to only two. Physical injury dwindled from 169 to 70. And murder, which is more difficult to prevent because of the because of element pre premeditation, dropped from 35 to 20. These crime figures have been validated by crime auditors from higher headquarters who have been filtered to the police stations to check if the records on their police blotters tally with the crime figures they report every month. 
to national headquarters and the police regional offices. At the national level, overall crime volume went down by 10%, while the volume of index crime, particularly murder, homicide, robbery, theft, motor napping and car napping, or the so-called seven focus crime being addressed by Lambatsi Bat, declined by 27% during the same period. From July 2015 to February of this year, the implementation of Lambatsibat in NCRPO, Police Regional Office 3 and 4A, led to the arrest of a combined total of 1,161 most wanted persons, 246 criminal gang members. In a span of 10 weeks, from February 29 to May 8 of this year, another 1,740 most wanted persons and 92 criminal gang members were arrested nationwide. The intelligent use of Lambatsibat and data analysis from our next generation investigative systems gave rise to a smart policing strategy. The one-time, big-time, or OTBT operations wherein the PNP deployed a minimum of 100 personnel to one target problem area to serve at least 10 search warrants or conduct other police intervention. Mr. President, for the first time in our law enforcement and policing history, we served 124 ser search warrants in one day in Nueva Ecija. An unprecedented 480 search warrants were served in two days by different police units in regions proper. OTB OTBT such as this result not only in the, arrest of in the arrest of numerous suspects and confiscation of more loose firearms, but it demonstrates how serious our campaign against criminality are. Mabisa, mabisa po ang ganitong strategy, lalo po sa ating kumpanya laban sa droga. Sa usaping ito, wala pong katotohanan na sinasabing ngayon lang biglang sumigla ang laban ng kapulisan laban sa droga. If you would remember, in my inaugural address last year, I said, we will go down, we will bring our campaign against illegal drugs at the community level. We have never wavered in our campaign against illegal drugs. In fact, in fact, we have activated the PNP Anti-Illegal Drugs Group to support the efforts of the Philippine Drug Enforcement Agency. And from just from January to mid of June this year, we have already, already accounted for more than 18,000 illegal drug personalities and confiscated more than 680,000 grams of shabu. Kahit kailan ay hindi po kami nangiming ipagtanggol ang ating bansa, lalo na ang ating mga kabataan, laban sa mga drug dealers at drug pushers. Given the profit profitability of illegal drug trade, we expected resistance from those involved in their manufacture, distribution, and sale. Alam naming may kakayahan din silang protektahan ang kanilang mga interes. So from January to June of this year, isang daat walumput tatlong na po ang napatay ng, sa mga armadong sagupan ng ating kapulisan laban sa mga clandestine laboratory workers, drug dealers, pushers, and users. Inuulit ko po, 183 fatality so far from the armed encounters. Upang maipagpatuloy ng ating kapulisan ang maigting na pagpapatupad ng police operations sa buong bansa, nakatakda po ngayong taon ang, mag, ang pagpapatayo ng 270 siyam na standard police station buildings. Funds for the 224 of these standard police station buildings have already been obligated as of May of this year. Mr. President, I am pleased to report that I made good on my promise to bring licensing and registration services closer to the doorstep of legitimate gun holders by activating regional civil security units. Likewise, construction of the CSG one-stop shop building, which is located in front of us, which costs around 73 million, began last, last March. It will be, be finished at the end of the year, while another 21 million was released for the construction of 
Regional Civil Security Unit offices in eight regions. And the revised implementing rules and regulations for Republic Act 10591, the new manual of operations in managing one-stop shop in training courses for regional CSU personnel have been finalized and being executed. We achieved all these breakthroughs in crime prevention and crime fighting operations, even when we were busy preparing to secure a series of major events in our country. We began with the President's State of the Nation address in July of 2015, then moved on to the 44 Asia-Pacific meetings in nine different venues around the country, the APEC Economic Leaders Meeting in Metro Manila in November 2015, the 51st International Eucharistic Congress in Cebu in January 2016, and of course, the national and local election last month. I want to thank you, Mr. President, for giving me this opportunity to serve the Filipino people in a very special capacity. I was Director of Operations when I was assigned as Commander of the Joint Task Force Papal Visit 2015. As any police officer trained in VIP security will tell you, our ultimate night nightmare is a VIP who wants to mingle with the crowd and shake hands with complete strangers. However, here was a Pope who didn't want a bulletproof vehicle, who loved to wade through the crowds, who blessed people with his hands, who randomly hugged children, who, and who firmly believed that he did, not us, he, did not, he did not need us because the Holy Spirit was his best protection. I said, if anything happens to the Pope, we will all go to hell. It was indeed a challenge, but we pulled it off with a zero incident, as you have directed, Mr. President. I was blessed by that experience, though I had no inkling that it was just my dry run for leading another joint task force, and uh, that as commander of the APEC Security Task Force. In APEC, we deployed a total of 6,445 officers and personnel. We once again achieved our goal of zero and toward incident. With us today, I, am, I have invited the APEC family. So the APEC family, could you, could you please stand up, please? I wish to acknowledge uh, Yusek Peter Corbera, Sir Nanjan Kapala. Yusek Corbera and uh, Yusek Ikarma are my immediate superior. They were co-chair of the National Committee on Public Order, Emergency Preparedness, and Public Safety. We once again achieved our goal of zero and toward incident, especially during the Economic Leaders Meeting, with you as host, Mr. President, to President Barack Obama and 19 other heads of state. You would recall that a week before that, Paris was under siege when eight bombs were simultaneously detonated by the IS in the heart of France. For the last time under my watch, the PNP proved its mettle in ensuring secure and fair national and local elections last May by adopting stringent protocols in major event security, increasing police presence, and intensifying operation against lawless elements and private armed groups, we succeeded in safeguarding the sanctity of the ballot as you have instructed, Mr. President. We arrested more than 5,000 persons who violated the gun ban, confiscated close to 4,000 firearms, more than 42,000 deadly weapons, and almost 40,000 rounds of ammunition. We documented all the lessons we learned in these events for future reference. The PNP's Major Event Security Planning Manual was field, was field tested during the 2015 APIC meetings. This guide will be useful when the PNP is called again to secure the, P the Philippine hosting of ASEAN 50th Golden Anniversary next year, as the ASEAN at 50 will begin holding more than 100 meetings by the end of this year. Mr. President, as I promised, our system of meritocracy was a double-edged sword. We raised the bar of performance and accountability so that excellence was rewarded and mediocrity received its just desserts. Beginning in 2015, 
we step up our campaign against rogue in uniforms. Gaya ng pinangako ko, may kinalagyan ng marami sa kanila. We arrested 42 of them, charged 90 with administrative cases, and another 63 with criminal cases. After a thorough review of our existing policies, a memorandum circular on the PNP's comprehensive internal disciplinary, disciplinary mechanism is being aligned with the new procedure being adopted by NAPOLCOM. In December of 2015, I approved the recommendation of the Technical Working Group or for Meritocracy to establish an assessment and development center for competency-based placement and promotion system for third-level police commissioned officers. In short and simple language, Mr. President, if an officer applying for position for third level for senior superintendent will not be able to pass the assessment center, he can never be designated to that position that will merit a subsequent promotion later on. While, while this system was still in the pipeline, we used our existing system to promote 180 senior people police commissioned officers to the, next higher, to the next higher rank. We also authorized the mass promotion of some 12,700 police non-commissioned officers. Kung naalala pa ng ating mga kapatid mula sa PNPA at iba pang paaralan, sinabi ko makakaasa kayo ng patas na pagturing sa usapin ng promotion at placement. Since August 2015, we placed more than 100 non-PMA graduates in key position at various levels in the Philippine National Police. Pangarap ko rin dumating ang panahon na hindi na natin kailangan mag-submit ng isang dosenang folder ng ating mga personal data sheet, service record, at iba pang dokumentong tuwing tayo ay nag apply for promotion. Sa kauna-unahang pagkakataon po sa kasaysayan ng Philippine National Police, Magkakaroon na po kami ng Administrative Information Management System, ang ating master database. Kung maalala nyo po, noong last February, tanong nyo po sa akin kung alam nyo ba talaga natin kung ilan yung tunay na bilang ng iyong kapulisan. Wala bang ghost employee sa Philippine National Police. This system, Mr. President, will ensure that each and every one body in this organization is duly and properly accounted for. I approved this project, and the SILG, in turn, approved it, worth 56 million pesos, so that the five mission critical information system can be integrated for personal administration, personal clearance, payroll, logistics management, and pension system. AIMS will also cover some 31 other related information system, including police station profile, training information system, Inspectorate Office Monitoring System and the Automated Promotion System. Mr. President, we could not thank you enough for your strong support to the Capability Enhancement Program of the Philippine National Police. Apart from the one PNP personnel to one short firearm ratio and the delivery of our mobility assets to all police units nationwide, consisting of patrol jeeps, light transport vehicle, heavy duty trucks. The following big ticket items are now being procured by the procurement service of the Department of Budget and Management. More than 27,000 20, units of our basic assault rifle. Again, Mr. President, for the first time in our history, we're going to procure brand new basic assault rifle. More than sufficient to arm our public safety forces. The Farms Identification System for Deployment in Mindanao. The 830 million communication system project that will ensure the availability of handheld radios for our patrollers in all police stations nationwide. And of course, Mr. President, the 2.7 billion capability enhancement project for the Special Action Force. Our crime solution function is also being addressed with some special focus. With the introduction of the new generation investigation system, consisting of the following, 
Crime Information Reporting and Analysis System, the Case Management and Analysis System, the CIDMS, or the Investigator's Notebook, the E-Subpoena, the E-Warrant, e rugs Gallery, the Bantai Crime and App, and the Facial Recognition System. Our study team is at the FBI, Mr. President, and uh, our counterparts at the, at the FBI were surprised at the pace of the development of our investigative system. Our teams were asked to present our project five times so that FBI will have a better handle of how we are proceeding with our investigative system. They are amazed because sir, they were here last year and from uh, zero, uh, the development of our investigative system has surpassed uh, the system being adopted by the FBI. The introduction of NGIs improve our crime solution efficiency of the Philippine National Police by so much. From 36% ten years, uh, six years ago to 50.68% last year and to 548 during the first semester of this year. With all the enormous data which can be generated by the system, the PNP will pursue the implementation of the National Police Clearance System. The, Napo the, the NAPOLCOM has already approved its implementation. Taliwas po sa karaniwang pagpapakilala ng ating ibang mga kaibigan sa media, mas nakararami po ang kapulisang may likas na hangaring gumawa ng kabutihan para sa ating mga mamamayan. Kaya hindi na ako nagtataka ng naglabasan ng mga kwentong galing mismo sa ating mga kababayan. It was so uplifting to learn that many PNP officers and personnel live their lives doing one, doing one good deed every day and every day without fail. The Tabaco City Police Office exemplifies this in the story of one teenager named John Paul Torrefranca, a notorious repeat offender who was the subject of so many complaints in the past. Instead of using the full force of the law, our officers and personnel used the full force of compassion and pulled their resources and sent him to school. Last March 31, he graduated from San Carlos Elementary School with the most dependable student award. John Paul also received a scholarship from Tobacco National High School and says he wants to be a police officer someday. This one goodie that has completely changed the life of a young man. Mr. President, nagiging viral na rin po sa social media ang mga larawan, video at first-person encounters ng taong bayan sa ating mga kapulisan. Nakakataba po ng puso ang ipinopost nila, ang pinopos ng netizens na nagpapakita ng kanilang paghanga sa ating kapulisang tumutulong sa mga senior citizen na tumatawid sa kalsada o nagbibigay ng pagkain sa isang batang lansangan o nagsisi, nag sumasama, masigasig na lumalahok sa Brigada Eskwela para mali, malinisan ang ating pampublikong paaralan. Noong kasagsaga ng ating APEC Security Operations, may pulis din tayong nagmagandang loob na gamitin ang kanyang personal motorcyclo upang ihatid sa airport ang isang pastor na walang masakyan para hindi siya maiwan ng kanyang flight. Marami rin, ang ating mga, marami rin sa atin ang namangha sa kakayahan ng dalawang pulis na nagpaanak ng isang ginang na hindi na umabot sa ospital. At tayo nagbunyi sa katapatan sa serbisyo ng mga pulis na off-duty. Ngunit patuloy na rumerresponde pa rin sa mga insidente ng hold-up at di pa pang mga krimen. On July 1, a new chief will assume office. Police Chief Superintendent Ronald Bato de la Rosa, I believe you have also a destiny to fulfill. Heaven has, heaven has ordained you for great things as well. Malayo, malayo na rin ang narating mo, ang tinaguriang mascot ng Alpha Company. Noong mga panahong tumatakbo ka sa Borumayo Field, siguro hindi pumasok sa isip mo na darating ang araw na ikaw ay magiging Chief PNP. Tatlong tulog na lang, padre pamilya, de pamilya ka na ng buong PNP. As such, you will be faced in making tough decisions. And I am confident you will, did, you will do what is right. I hope that you will have a better chance of finally getting Congress to finally pass into law our proposals for the PNP Reorganization and Modernization Act. With an annual recruitment quota of 10,000 police officers, the PNP will have an estimated total strength of more than 190,000 by the end of this year. 
and 210,000 by the end of 2018. You will need a more responsive organizational structure, a comprehensive modernization program to, to pr properly manage a poli police force of that size, plus full control over the training institutions that are presently under pub Philippine Public Safety College. The past 11 months and two weeks were the culmination of a more fulfilling of a most fulfilling career. Thanks to so many special people who supported me and made my, my journey so much easier. I know, that, I know that these words will never be enough to express my gratitude to all of you, but permit me to say them just the same. His Excellency, President Benigno Aquino III, thank you very much, sir, for your trust and confidence. It was a great honor working for you. The 2015 APEC Economic Leaders Meeting was a defining moment in our history, and the lavish praise we received for hosting it was worth all those sleepless nights. To Secretary Mel Sarmiento, thank you for your guidance and support. You listened patiently to our reports and provided valuable sir, advice to help us resolve the issues that we confronted. You provided us the necessary advice and support to make sure that systems and procedures are approved and take roots in this organization. To my one and only wife, Luz, and our three daughters, Maria Gwendolyn, Faye Andrea, and Lou Erica, thank you for your patience and unconditional love. I look forward to retirement and a long vacation with you. It's time for me to come home for good. To the officers and staff of the Office of the Chief PNP, headed by Arceya, Police Senior Superintendent Bernie Banak, thank you for efficiently managing my daily activities. My term as chief was a fast and furious roller coaster ride, but I am pleased that despite that grueling pace, you all exhibited grace under pressure. It was my first time to work with you, and I appreciate the professionalism that you, that you showed along the way. To my amistas from the Philippine Military Academy, Sandigan Class of 1982, thank you for always being there for me. Thank you for believing in my vision for the Philippine National Police and for selflessly contributing your time and talent to help me. Monday morning breakfast with you is a tradition we should continue. To our partners, the heads of other government agencies, which help us perform our jobs better, thank you for believing in the power of the whole of government approach concept. To the Filipino people, maraming salamat po sa inyong pagtitiwala. Sa maikling palahon, aking padanungkulan bilang Chief PNP, na ba naipadama namin sa inyo ang katapatan ng aming hangaring kayo'y tunay na mapaglingkuran. To the men and women of the Philippine National Police, maraming maraming salamat sa pakikiisa ninyo sa adhikain kong Mabago ang ating public image at corporate culture. Thank you for doing your jobs well. If I, as your chief, took this organization further higher than others, know that I did it by standing on your collective shoulders. Ang lahat ng accomplishment ay pinagmamalaki natin ngayong araw. Ngayong araw na ito ay nagmulang lahat sa inyo. I simply provided the leadership. It was you who made things happen. My tour of duty report is actually a celebration of our indomitable spirit as an organization. Sana ipagpatuloy ninyo ang ating nasimulan, lalo, lalo na one good deed a day, every day sa ilalim ng bagong pamunuan. I am truly eternally grateful to the great architect of the universe. Blessings I have received, family, friends, classmates, colleagues, superiors, and subordinates who walk with me on this journey. Nagtatanong nga si Mrs. Marquez kung bakit palagi yung sinasabing siya ang aking may one and only. She is my greatest blessing. The one and only woman who accepted me for what I, I was and saw in me the potential that I did not see in myself. Who believed in me when I doubted my own abilities. Who pulled double, who pulled double duty as mother and father to our daughters when my career took me away from home. Finally, I recognized the time and tide wait for no man. And as the book of Ecclesiastes so 
eloquent, eloquently says, for everything there is a reason, and a time for every purpose under heaven, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to weep and a time to laugh, and may I add, a time to stay and a time to say goodbye. I bid you farewell. I am confident that I leave the PNP far, far better than what it was when I assumed office in July of last year. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyo lahat at mabuhay tayong lahat. Public of the Philippines, National Police Commission, National Headquarters, Philippine National Police, Camp Crame, Quezon City. Retirement. Pursuant to General Orders Number 1354, National Headquarters, Philippine National Police, dated June 14, 2016. Police Director General Ricardo Cornejo Marquez, ODA 07208, is optionally retired from the PNP service, effective June 30, 2016, by authority of the Chairman, National Police Commission. Official, Ricardo C. Marquez, Police Director General, Chief Philippine National Police, signed, Dominador E. Aquino Jr., Police Director, the Director for Personnel and Records Management. We would like to request our honoree to remain in front for the lowering of his personal flag, and this will be done by SPO4 Juanito Dimaculangan, Chief Executive Senior Police Officer of the Philippine National Police. Merry All are requested to rise to witness the lowering of our honorary's personal flag. Is Director General Ricardo C. Marquez, upon taking the oath and assumption to office, the Filipino people and the Constitution vested you with the power and authority as a law enforcer. As such, you implored the aid of the Almighty. That authority is symbolized by the PNP badge. It is a badge of honor placed near your heart to remind you of your duty to enforce the law without fear or favor, to protect the rights of the people, especially the weak, the poor, and the marginalized. At the center of your badge is the PNP seal held bravely by our hero, Lapu-Lapu, the first Filipino to defend our country against foreign invaders. Hence, your buds symbolize your selfless sacrifice and willingness to die in the service of God, country, and people. On your badge are the virtues of service, honor, and justice, which you live out with unwavering commitment. You kept the badge unsolid and free of any breach of fidelity. 
you endeavored to avoid any aspersion against our institution. You preserved our cherished police customs and traditions and never countenanced any division from nor allowed them to be infringed. Police Director General Ricardo C. Marquez, you were a police officer. You have worn your badge with honor and pride. Now, after 38 years, two months, and 18 days of faithful police service, it is time to retire your badge. I'm now turning over my PNP badge, which symbolized the power and authority vested upon me. May we request His Excellency be Mga kababayan, ang kagalang-galang Pangulo ng Republika ng Pilipinas, Benigno S. Aquino III. Police Director Jonathan Miano, please give the troops tigas pa Secretary Mel San Sarmiento, the Release Director General Ricardo Marquez, Foreign Police Attaché is present. Members of the directorial staff, officers, non-commissioned personnel, men and women of the Philippine National Police, fellow workers in government, honor guests, mga minabal ko pong kababayan, magandang hapon po sa inyo lahat. Ito na po ang huling pagkakataong makakadalo ko sa pagdiriwang na ating Philippine National Police bilang inyong Pangulo. At talaga naman pong mas nagiging makulay at makabuluhan ito sa akin, lalo pat kasabay nito ang pagbibigay pugay sa inyong hepe si Director General Rick Marquez. Alam niyo po, bago natin i-appoint si Rick bilang bagong pinuno ng ating kapulisan, hindi natin siya gano'ng kakilala. Nagtagpo na lang kami noon, nung ako po ay Pangulo na ng bansa. Pero talaga naman pong pambihira ang husay at track record nitong si Rick na siyang naging batayan. Patayan natin para piliin siyang maging timon ng PNP sa huling yugto ng ating administrasyon. Bago pa man maging hepe, isa po si Rick sa mga opisyal natin na masusing nagplano para siguruhin hindi kakalat ang epidemya ng Middle East Respiratory Syndrome, Coronavirus o MERS-CoV sa bansa. Kung matatanda ninyo, noong 2014 ay ulat sa ating may OFW tayong napositibo o nagpositibo sa test sa MERS coronavirus na umuwi na sa Pilipinas. Tayo naman po ay naabisuhan lang labing dalawang oras pagkatapos tumapag ang kanyang sinakyang aeroplano. Tanda ko po, Berkeley Santo noon at marami nang nasa bakasyon sa ating mga otoridad. Doble kayot po ang mga tulad ni Rick noon sa puspusang paghahanap sa di bababa sa apat na raan, labing apat na paserong pwedeng naapekto ng sakit para mapigilan ang pagkalat nito sa bansa. Sinundan nito na matagumpay niyang pamumuno sa seguridad ni Pope Francis ng bumisita sa Pilipinas. Hindi nga po biro ang pagtyak sa kaligtasan ng ating Santo Papa noong panahong yun. Bukod sa banta sa kanyang buhay, kinailangan din nating siguruhin ang kaligtasan ng libo-libo nating kababayang nagtipon at sumalubong sa pagbisita ni Pope Francis sa Maynila Tacloban. Sirik po ang nanguna sa mga paghahanda at sa bawat detalye ng seguridad ng Santo Papa. Sa awang nga po ng Diyos, sa pagtutulungan ng ating security sector at ng ating mga boss, ligtas na nakarating at nakalis dito si Pope Francis. Nang siya na po ang nagtitimon sa PNP, lalo pang nagpakitang gilas ito, si Rick. Bilang host, patakupay nating naidaw sa bansa ang apex ng nakaraang taon. At nasiguro ang kaligtasan ng mga nakilahok na pinuno at ng maraming mga delegado sa buong taon galing sa iba't ibang bansa. Dito po, bukod sa dalang turismo ng pagtitipon ay pamalas natin sa buong mundo ang kahandaan at kakayahan natin makipagsabayan sa pagundan. At ang pinakauli, nasaksihan din natin na matagumpay at maayos na halalan nitong Mayo sa pangunan ni Rick Marquez ng ating mga kapulisan at ng ating sandatang lakas. Siyempre, hindi lahat hindi lang may kakahon ang usay ng liderato ni Rick Marquez sa malaki ang pagtitipon o kasun. Makikita din ito sa mas tumas pang crime solution efficiency ng PNP. Makikita ito sa lalo pang umigting na pagtugis sa mga most wanted persons. Sa kasaluhin nga, mula Hulyo 2010 hanggang Hunyo 2016, nakapag-aresto ng PNP ng 14,800 
24 na most wanted persons. 3,732 rito ang nadakip sa termono ni Rick Marquez. Sa ating internal security operations, nakaresto na ng Anwar na put dalawang key personalities ng CPP, NPA, NDF at BIFF ang kapulisan. Labing tatlo dito ang nahuli sa panunungkulan ni Rick. Sa pamamagitan naman ng mas pinalawak na Oplan Lambat Sibat, bumagsak ang bilang ng krimen sa National Capital Region. Ayon nga sa pinakahuling datos, mula sa 35 kaso ng murder at homicide kada linggo sa Kamaynilan mula Enero hanggang Hunyo, 2014, Buhaba ito sa 21 nitong Hunyo, 2016. Sa robbery, theft at carnapping naman para sa parehong panahon, mula sa dating siyam na raan, 52 kaso, 200 na lamang ang lingguhang average pagdating ng Hunyo, 2,000 at 18,000. Halos 80% pagbababayan. Ang good news nga, ito mga positibang datos na ito ay hindi lang naitala sa Metro Manila, sa Region 3 at 4A, kung saan ipinatupad din ang Lambat Sibat, makikita ang pagbaba sa bilang ng pitong focus crimes na kinabibilangan ng carnapping, murder, theft, physical injury, rape, robbery at homicide. Sa Region 3, ang dating 370 weekly average na nabanggit na focus crimes mula Desyembre, 2014 hanggang Hunyo 2015 na pababa sa 153 pagdating ng Abril 2016. Habang sa Region 4A naman, ang weekly average dito na umabot sa 262 mula Enero 2015 hanggang Enero 2016 naging 175 na lang nitong Abril 2016. Makikita din ang kausayan ng PNP sa mas pinalakas nating kampanya laban sa droga. Mula Hulyo, 2010 hanggang Hunyo, 2016, nadakip ang 135,165 individual na sangkot sa droga. Nakumpis ka ang drogang nakakahalagang 20.5%. 65 bilyong piso at nabuwag ang 23 drug laboratories at chemical warehouse. Sa datos na ito, 42,660 personalidad ang naaresto, 4.3 bilyong piso ang halaga ng ilegal na droga ang nakuha ng PNP at 4 na laboratorio ang nabuwag sa panahon ni Rick Marquez. Bukod nga po sa pagsumpo sa krimen na droga ay sinasayos at pinatibay din ni Rick Marquez ang samahan ng ating kapulisan. Isa sa malaking hamon na kinaharap ng PNP ang pagkakaroon ng maraming kampo o paksyon. Kay Rick, ipinamalas niya ang kahalagahan ng pagkakaisa ng kapulisan. Malinaw sa kanya, imbis na magsilbi sa mga padrino, wala dapat na ituring ng mga boss kung hindi ang taong bayan. Batid niyang kung kakampi natin ang sambayanan, talaga pong dadali ang ating misyon at pagtupad sa tungkulin. Yan nga po ang katangian ng liderato ni Rick Marquez. Mahusay, maasahan, may malasakit at paninindigan sa pagtubad ng mandato. Sinasagad ni Rick ang bawat pagkakataon para pausayin pa ang serbisyo, serbisyo ng ating kapulisan. Tinututukan niya ang pagpapaunlad sa kasanayan at kagamitan ng ating mga pulis, pati na ang pangakalaga sa inyong kapakanan at ng inyong pamilya. Ngayon nga po, ang dating pinapangarap lang sa anay ng kapulisan nangyayari na. Malino po, kaysa natin si Rick sa pagsisigurong ang nagmamalasakit sa bayan ay hindi na napapag-iwanan. Kilala din natin si Rick bilang pinunong kapag kinausap mo, sasabihin niya ang totoo, hindi makikipagplastikan o magsisinungaling para lang magpalapad ng papel. Kaya sa totoo lang, isa po siya sa mga pinuno na ngayong magwawakas na ang termino ay talaga namang may halo tayong paghihinayang. Mayroon po kasi mga pinunong kapag nagpapaalam na sa serbisyo, tila sinasabi ng iba ay sa wakas nagretiro na. Pero sa pagtatapos ng pamumuno ng isang Rick Marquez, tsak kung marami ang makakaramdam ng sayang naman, sana mas matagal pa siya sa serbisyo. Tiwala naman ako, sa pagpasok ni Rick sa bago yung ito na kanyang buhay bilang privadong mamamayan, kasabay ng pagtuon sa kanyang pamilya ay ang patuloy niyang pagsisilbi sa kapwa at bansa. Dalawang araw na nga lang po, at ako naman ang bababa sa pwesto. 
at hindi ko po maiwasang balikan ang bawat hamon at tagumpay na ating hinarap. Noong paman, lagi ninyong ginagawa ang lahat ng inyong makakaya sa kung ano ang meron kayo. Kaya sa magigiting nating kapulisan, nais ko pong iparating sa inyo ang aking paghanga at taus-pusong pasasalamat. Hindi natin mararating ang kabanatan ito ng ating kasaysayan, ang punto kung kailan higit na tayong nakakapaglingkod sa Pilipino at tinitingala na tayo ng mundo sa pagbabagong ating tinatamasa kung wala ang inyong tiwala at pakikiambag. Sa inyong lahat na tapat, buong tapang at buong buhay na naglingkod sa ating mga boss, ang taong bayan, maraming maraming salamat. Hanggang sa uli, isang karangalan na pamunuan ang buong hanay ng Pilipinas ng Pulis sa pagsusulong ng kapayapaan sa ating bansa. Isang karangalan na maglingkod sa inyo at makasama ninyong magsilbi sa sambay ng Pilipino. Isang karangalan na maging kabalikat nyo sa kolektibo nating hangarin. Ang iwan ng bansa sa dihamak na mas maganda, mas maunlad at mas payapang kalagayan kaysa po sa ating dinatnan. Muli po sa bawat kawani ng ating pong kapulisan, sa ating pong liderato ng ating kapulisan. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyo lahat. Talupa!